to view your cameras using your iPhone, you'll have to download and install IP Techno Pegaso. There is a light version and a paid version. We will go over the light version of this app today. Open up IP Techno Pegaso Lite and select Camera. In the top right corner next to Live Preview, select the icon with the camera. Now select the plus symbol next to device list. Select IP domain. We are going to create an entry to log into a DVR. You need two separate entries in order to log in from home and away given that they are pointing at different IP addresses. I am going to name this one home. Here I will enter the address of the device. By default all of our devices come with the address of 192.168. .1.108. The rest of the information is filled out with the default information on the DVR. The data port is 3 quadruple 7, the username is admin, the default password for that username is also admin, the live view and playback are selected for the extra stream. It is important because if you select the mainstream you will be bottlenecking your data on the uplink, unable to view and possibly even timing out. The extra stream is a lower quality stream that does not require as many resources to feed to you. Once that's complete, select start live preview. You'll be originally dropped on a four screen grid landing. You can swipe left and right to move to another grid. This device only has nine cameras attached. You can also view in 16 camera grid. Nine camera grid. Of course the four camera grid and a single camera view. Here you can swipe left and right to cycle through the cameras. If you own a PTZ camera you can use PTZ functions by selecting the button on the bottom and then selecting the function that you'd like to use. Zoom in by pressing the plus sign on the magnifying glass. into that grass there. Zoom out by hitting the minus sign. You can even move it left, right, up and down by pushing your finger along the edge and recall presets using the flag icon. You can select favorites with a star and save it to an area. Recall them by hitting the play button. They can even be on multiple devices. You can take snapshots using the camera button. And they'll be saved locally to your device. Digital zoom is achieved by using the finger stroke to zoom in or out. Tap the menu button. Let's take a look at local files. This has a stored video and if you click the button at the top our screenshots that we just took. Here are our favorites. Here you can see the device manager and playback. Select a time and a channel that you'd like to play back. You can increase or decrease the size of the 
playhead. You can drag the playhead back and forth to determine a spot at which to start viewing. Here you'll see local config. You can manage things like PTZ step in there, which is how fast your PTZ will move. Questions or comments? Use the discussion box below the article.